Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday and welcome to a brand new week full of crafty fun. Uh, starting with this absolutely blooming, lovely new launch that we have for you. We're so excited. Um, thank you so much for joining us this morning. My name is Rebecca Monks and I'm going to be hosting this amazing show for you guys full of absolutely gorgeous artwork. We love it. Um, yeah, let's do everyone's introductions. In the producer station, we've got Jess. Morning. Good morning. And Demo in for us this morning. We have the wonderful Natalie. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited about today because it's quite a fun collection. It's really fun. You can get super, super creative with yeah. it. It's completely down to you how your cards sort of turn out. Yes. Um, you're just given all the tools. So it was one of my favorites when they're like this. Yeah, definitely. There are so many options. It's really versatile and it is just gonna slide straight into your stash perfectly. Um, so before we show you this fabulous kit, um, and I know Natalie cannot wait to get crafting, but we're gonna have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. Okay, it's a brand new prize for a brand new week and we have got a great one for you today. We have got our wonderful Deluxe Craft Pads Multi by 12. Um, these are fabulous. These are our latest volumes in our Deluxe Craft Pad. So we have got the Art Deco Paradise. We have got the Hobbies for Him. And we are finishing off with the cuties in the Puppy Love Collection. Uh, they're worth $35.97. They are so great. We love our craft pads because they're so light. And you get a complete card making kit with toppers, card stock there, foiled and printed. And as well, obviously, all of your um, fabulous designs in there. And if I flip through to the very back, you get all your inserts in there as well. An absolute complete kit. And you're going to get three of those. Uh, we've got three lucky winners. And we want to know, the orange tabby cat stubs was the mayor for 20 years in which small town? This is cute. A, Norton City, Virginia. B, Hallstatt, Austria, or is it C, Tal Keetner, Alaska? 20 years, that's quite an old cat as well, I think. It is quite an old cat, isn't it, really? 20 yeah. years. 20 years. And I mean, that's like a well looked after cat lives lives about that amount of time, doesn't I know. it? 20 years. 20 well, years. if it was the mare. The mare. It would have been eating it all sorts, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Definitely not on any cat food. No, no, it'll have been absolutely living the life of Riley. Uh, let's see if we've got any answers. Oh, there's a few coming through altogether. Make sure you're in for the chance to win that incredible um, prize that we've got. You can enter all week. Uh, Facebook, YouTube and on the hub as well. Absolutely up to you. Let's have a little dive in, shall we? To have a look at our wonderful new launch. Oh my goodness. I don't know about you, Nat, but mm. I think it showed that BT just shows you how very versatile this I think we had Absolutely. every kind of fun and funky fold. We had some sweet and simple. Yeah. There's just like you say, so much you can just really so so much. And I think the way that the collection's been um sort of built up by um Alan is that you've got so many different options if you yeah. want to add an extra frame we've got extra frames if you want to remove those you can do there's enough space to be able to make spinners there's yes. enough room for you to be able to have um acetate added in and build these into shaker cards there's so much variety of what you can do on this and even on the inspiration sheet the vt you've just seen all the cards that we're going to show you throughout the show as well um we literally tried every single really option are. so you can see exactly how versatile this collection is but the the floral design throughout it is absolutely stunning yes absolutely we're going to show you that right now um okay so yeah this is our wonderful frame florals aperture card kit it includes 64 individual crafting elements including your envelopes there so you've got your um 
uh, five by fives and your five by sevens there as well for this. So as Natalie said, it is so versatile. You can mix and match it however you choose to and sort of create your own combos, keep things together, take things apart. It's absolutely up to you. So let's start with the card blanks first of all. So as you can see, these are our wonderful card blanks. Um, they are adorable scorable, so they're absolutely fabulous. Nice satin finish on there. Uh, and then these contain a frame, a die cut frame foiled in that gold and then you see you have another die cut layer which is your topper now you can obviously press those out and they will be an aperture for you so you can use the topper separately you can use it together you can stick it on the inside to be like just an yeah. absolutely as is aperture card you can obviously be like you say adding your scores adding your acetate adding extra card stocks chopping these up into different um, combinations if you want other sizes etc as you can see we've got gorgeous vintage colors and the artwork is phenomenal framed florals in here so we've just got classic vintage flowers like our, our beautiful peonies here uh, on this circular one absolutely gorgeous we've got that um in white as well absolutely gorgeous that really nice sort of tea rose peony there and again that one as well such a variety of shapes we've got the bracket label the circular one um, the square and again your corner one this would look so great if you punch the corners to match mm -hmm. absolutely so many options then we go into our um our five by seven well they're just slightly smaller to go in the envelopes but these are our, our, our gorgeous rectangular ones here and again you can see those full balloons there those beautiful pink roses in here again we've got that really nice sort of peachy peony with the french script and the gorgeous damask detail just look at these they are fabulous for any occasion you know retirement good luck get well obviously your birthdays um just absolutely phenomenal again we've got that blue um peony in that one as well and then the, i love this one that gorgeous soft gray color as well with that little bit of um it's really nice isn't yeah, it yeah very very fashionable that color absolutely gorgeous and then you're gonna get even more with this kit so we have done extra toppers for you um now these are not the same as the top has got the same flowers and the same feel but they are slightly different so if you want to change them yeah. up absolutely fine maybe if you want to put two on one card um absolutely do some fussy cutting whatever is absolutely up to you so all these are foiled and die cut and they will fit with your apertures the largest frame um, on these are designed to fit around around the it as well so if you want to do things like shake a card you've got that covered because yep. you've got your um place to be able to do all of your acetate and hide all of your elements so yeah it's really really cleverly put together so so clever so <laughs> yeah as natalie said these are our oversized to fit over the the frames on your card blank so they are absolutely phenomenal and as you can see um, that oval shaped one yes it is this it's the same but a little bit different a little so bit different creamy it's got that again it's got more of that french script pattern we've got dahlias in here on this one they're absolutely gorgeous aren't they that little gorgeous dahlia pair there as well we've got butterflies in this kit again roses let me show you the other ones so these will go with your other shapes and as you can see again even more variety of flowers we've got the orange dahlia there we've got the the beautiful beautiful lilies in there and again that gorgeous duo with that pink and blue they're absolutely stunning um flowers for you and again so many sentiments on the bottom of here you're getting eight just on this one sheet and they match perfectly you've got thinking of you made especially for you made with lots of love just for you best wishes happy birthday made with love and care and then on your other sheet you've got um sending birthday wishes you've got someone special you've got just to say and then again you've got your little handmade ones as well so even if you want to be doubling up you get plenty mm -hmm. so you can put your little handmade label on the back yeah. as well if that is something you want to do um let's have a look at the pack shot this is going to be everything you're going to get in the multi buy so basically you get everything twice over so this is going to really stretch out that kit um you know like you say if you are making if you are having really really good fun with this kit you're making your shakers you're making your easels your fold backs you can really have a good play with that because you obviously get the four top of 
sheets as well as all of those card blanks and envelopes as well. It saves four pounds as well, so why not? It's 19.98, um, and then again we've got our diamond and club prices coming as low as 17.98. Um, we're going to show you some cards and then we're going to go straight to a demo with Natalie and this is where again you can see the variety so we've taken that big frame and just chopped that to frame those corners and put that um, that top of just frame it absolutely beautifully we've also stuck a little bit of acetate on there to just lift that absolutely beautifully we've got this one that's been used as a shaker and again you can pop your topper on or you can anything you like it's absolutely fine we've got a gorgeous circular fold back here again this is so what I'm nice there is so it? nice yep. and again those corners for uh, rounded with the punch makes a real real difference um, we've got a little tiny um, diorama here very sweet. So sweet, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Again, pulling in your acetate, fussy cutting some of those layers off the card blanks and the toppers. Um, we've got this one, and I think you're going to show us a spinner today, aren't you? I am, Matt? yeah. A little um, bit different from how Rachel's done this one, um, but we are going to do a spinner in the first demo. Oh, are you? The first yeah. demo. Okay, so no one go anywhere, guys. And then we've got this terrific um, double easel here that's just simply added one score to that absolutely gorgeous really clever, isn't, it? isn't it really clever and it's that reverse style easel and again those choice of toppers absolutely phenomenal um but we are going to see a card being made from start to finish so we're going to go over to you Nat. so i've chosen the gorgeous purple design because mm. i think it's absolutely beautiful i've got my spare uh topper and frame ready and i've got my sentiments ready to go as well so what we're going to do for this one is we're going to keep it quite simple so we are going to just score this back so let me get um, a score tool out of my piece here and just we're going to make sure that that is properly folded on there and I'm going to pop out this design here as well so just being really careful you can obviously use uh, your craft knife just to go around those edges to make sure you get a nice clean um, separation you've got no other elements sort of popped out and then I'm also going to remove my middle frame from this section here and what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our two middle squares so yep. they're going to be because they are the same size so we're going to sort of put them back to back and I'm also going to bring in um, my uh, frame here because this a uh, larger frame is going to fit on the outside and that is going to give me um, the space to be able to hide sort of my spinner details. So what we're going to do is I've got a little piece, let me lie this out flat and I'll line it up onto here as well. I've got a little piece of um, our invisible thread here. So I'm going to cut that to size. Sometimes you want to make sure that it's a little bit longer than what you actually need yeah. so that you can definitely make sure that you've got that down. And then let me bring my images into play i'm just going to get some red liner tape so you want something that's going to be super super secure to do this yeah so i'm going to put my red liner tape in the middle there and then i'm just going to place my um little piece of thread in here oh yeah so that's that nicely there. stuck down isn't it and i'm going to make sure that that is super secure with some other tape and I'm also going to use this opportunity to stick my other design on the reverse of here so the only thing you need to make sure that you do and when you're popping this on here is um, making sure that your designs are the right way around but yes yeah I not mean, upside down and not back work, to front it wouldn't look too bad but we just want to make sure that they are the right way so just popping that down onto there I'm going to stick this on here like so and then you've got that gorgeous design on both sort of areas there then what we're going to do is we're going to stick this onto our frame so i'm going to start by sticking one down in place first and then we'll do the other bit now this is going to be hid by your frame so you do want to make sure that you don't have a lot of workings shown so i'm going to use my red line and tape again because it's about the same thickness as our frames and I'm just going to stick this centrally um, on that panel there and then what I will do is I will make sure that this is running in the same like level line so your mat's really handy for making sure that that is where you want it to be yeah 100%. and then I'm going to stick one side down first of all so just stick that bit down there 
and then I'm going to lift this and I'm actually, oh no, let's spin it before we stick it down. So you want some sort of um, movement within your wire or your string, whatever you're using, because that is how you're going to be able to spin these. So creating that uh, movement within your wire, just spinning it around through your fingers will be able to create that. So pop that down and then we need to make sure that that is super secure and to do that I'm going to go in with my foam pads. Awesome. Because we are going to use that um, frame as well so just making sure that we are super super level on here and then I'm just going to bend this round. You want to make sure that you are as close to the edge as possible, but there is no way that you are going to get this um, any sort of foam on this section here because you don't want that to end up getting in the way. So again, all the way around here. And then I'm going to just bring this bit round, take off that bit. And I just need a tiny little section to go into here. So all the way up there. Take this bit off. Oh, oh, it's sticky. Take that bit away and then we can place our frame over the top and then I will cut out our panels. So just placing this now on top of your design. So you've got that gorgeous, gorgeous detail mm. and then I can come in. I'll use my scissors to do this and just snip away that excess make sure i've got lots of pressure on those parts so they can't come away and then it's just a case of adding your sentiment so i'm going to use my foam pad strips again i've gone for the for someone special and i'm also going to use the handmade for you i'm going to pop this on the um, reverse of my card too so i've got that gorgeous detailing on both sides yeah so this, i love that um someone special let's double up that foam pad actually just so it fits a little bit over that frame and you want to, again, make sure that you're not placing this in the way of your spinner. Yeah. Otherwise, it sort of won't move around. So that little sentiment can sit, sit on there. Your handmade for you can sit on there. And then when you fold this up and out, you will have that gorgeous <gasps> design that just spins around oh. on your image there. So. And your recipient will not be able to resist no, doing that. And if you do this before you put it in the envelope, so spin it around a few times, that means that when as soon as the, the card comes out of the envelope, It'll, it will spin naturally. Yes. Um, so it will give you that oh, gorgeous look detail at that. as well. Oh my gosh. Yeah, spinner cards are the absolute best. And I think this kit makes it so easy. You don't have to get your Super dies easy. out. You don't have to make frames. No. Nope. It's all done for you. If you've been put off by making spinner cards, this kit just makes it so easy. It takes all the hard work. Uh, Donna says, fabulous card. Natalie, thank you very much. Um, we love it. We've still got more demos to come. Um, Jackie says, what a smashing card, Natalie. Um, just so, so good. Um, we love it. Right, let's show you some more things because we thought these would work so perfectly with your um, card kit. Um, because we also wanted something that could be designed that if you want to use the toppers completely separately, yep. you can still use these as just normal aperture card blanks without having to make them yourself. You can just simply pop the topper out and use them as card blanks. As you can see, we've gone for a really nice, um, not too heavily patterned, no, beautiful colours. No, it's really colours. gorgeous, isn't it? It really is, absolutely. So that if you do want to use them with other things, you absolutely can do. And the one thing we thought that would be really nice is our wonderful Perfect Verses. Now, these are so great. Again, if you're getting your craft stash ready for the year's occasions throughout 2024, they are so great. We've got our, um, our foiled one here with 48 sheets, which contains 192 verses for you. The foiled in gold and and in silver um, so you can absolutely you know mix and match them with all of your toppers and as you can see we've got such a range of um, sentiments we've got a range of occasions uh, we've got some great ones as well for all of those January occasions like turn the next page your chapter is going to be amazing may today's success be only the beginning of your incredible journey um, we've got gorgeous ones here like for weddings and couples wishing you both special memories meaningful moments and the, all the happiness your hearts can 
and hold absolutely gorgeous we've got some really fun birthday ones we've got ones that cover um loss and memories absolutely beautiful and again the shine on that um it is beautiful beautiful um like pay uncoated paper as well so if you want to add any of your inks but we just thought these would look so great um behind the apertures of those card blanks they're absolutely fantastic so they are nine pounds 99 and like i say they are so great we get them out every the one in our craft room is honestly like this oh, it's thin so now well loved. It's, it's so, so well, well loved. loved it's falling to bits it's honestly it's nearly three quarters used we're going to treat ourselves to a new one and then we've got this absolute whopper now this is great as well for all of those um any topper kits that use speciality foiling, anything you're not using Miri for because it's printed. So this is our uncoated papers. And this actually contains, just because it doesn't have that luxury element of the foil, we've squeezed even more into this. 384 printed verses in here. So you are gonna get some uh, that you're not gonna see. Watch me not be able to find some now. There's a, there is a few different ones in here. There's eight in total that are different from what eight you get in your foil. This one, I know this one's different. So you've got happy birthday, it's time for fun. Have a great day from everyone. Uh, today is your birthday, celebrate in style, have fun creating memories to look back on and smile, um, as well as some of the absolute classics that you get in the original Perfect Verses. So we've absolutely squeezed in everything we can. Uh, the designers, like I say, have worked so hard for these to be as versatile as possible for you. Um, I absolutely love that one as well. That handwritten uh, typography is one of my favourite. A thank you note from me to you for all you are and all you do um i'm sorry this is just 6.99 such a good deal what a deal one of the best sellers of last year as well it doesn't even need to be on sale it really doesn't absolutely not and again it doesn't date it will take you year after year you, you know you're always going to have those special occasions that you can be pulling out these um verses for another thing that we thought was absolutely phenomenal is our um our wonderful say it with style pocket pads um, 64 sheets 16 designs four of each and again these look so cute behind little apertures and frames so oh this one's everybody's favorite the little just for laughs one um these are just full of fun born to be wild only until 9 p.m or so absolutely gorgeous lovely lovely artwork in here that really nice monochromatic style in here and they're so so reasonable as well to think that you could make 64 cards out of this pad um, for the absolute bargain price of 4 99 absolutely incredible. Um, we love this. Your cooking is so good, even the smoke alarm cheers you on. Love, love, love that. These are so much fun. And again, they just have that real, you know, you can just pull these out for any friends or family members uh, and you're not gonna be stuck for a fabulous sentiment or insert whatever you want to use them for, or obviously as centerpieces. So we've got the inspirational wisdom. Uh, we've got, this one's fantastic, our florals one here with that gorgeous um array of florals in here um really nice for like fun and friendship mother's day coming up as well it is a little bit earlier mother's day and easter this year it is it is it is get um ready absolutely it is in march and it's in early march so we've got that collects beautiful moments bloom where you are planted i will always pick you thanks a bunch have a blooming lovely day and even more we've got this fabulous friends one so you've got the gin and tonic you've got the uh, story you've got friends like you make the world a better place so much variety in here um and then what else have we we've got we've got the occasions one we've got the age to perfection um you're not getting old you're becoming a classic love that one and then we've got our wonderful world because you know us at Hunky Dory, we love our puns. Cake it easy. Uh, I've been missing you. Thank you very much. To a perfect pair. 
you're just my type absolutely amazing puns in there that one's so so much fun uh, if you want to mix and match those they're any three for 9.99 as well so absolute bargain prices to top up your craft stash on there um so that's absolutely everything we're going to have a quick minute weekly reminder and then we're going to go back to natalie so our three craft pads are our prize this week and all we want to know is the orange tabby cat stubs was the mayor for 20 years in what small town a norton city virginia b hallstatt austria or c talkeetna alaska who knows who knows there's lots of answers coming in there is one that is does look it's like it's in the lead but who knows who knows we're who not knows? saying anything who knows um now we're coming back to you okay so this time i'm going to show you how you can transform with a little bit of added extra um your smaller cards into bigger cards so we're actually going to do a seven by seven with this one nice and i've chosen this gorgeous design with your flowers um in it i absolutely love it and we're also going to use those perfect verses because it's a really good way of being able to add another extra element and make your cards a little bit bigger so we're going to do a seven by seven for this one i'm going to start off First of all, by trimming this, you'll notice that I've taken out the middle design, but I've actually kept in the frame just to make that middle section a little bit smaller um, than if I'd have taken out that whole piece. So I'm just gonna trim that. Um, it's slightly smaller um, than five by five. And then I'm not sure how I'm gonna lay this piece on yet. I had an idea, but I may change my mind. So this panel is gonna sit up here. And then this one, I think, yeah i think we're going to add that one onto there so we can pop it on on phone but i did think about having it sort of like cut in half okay so i could yeah. have double maybe i'll do that let's do that so i'll trim this to halfway which is going to be um just over the two and a half by two no, no it's a bit smaller actually it doesn't really matter it doesn't need to be perfect because we're not going to see it anyway so if we just trim it in half and we stick that down i'm going to go in with my uh, tape for this just because um you know going on to going Miri. on to Miri, always use your dry adhesives um you can use a dry adhesive and then place a little bit of construction glue on the top so yep. that you've got wiggle room but always always dry adhesive with Miri. um because it just isn't as porous as your other cardstock so it's no. not going to hold as well so let's do opposite ends let's see if that's going to work no it's not going to work is it because if i turn it, it's still going to be the same right unless i did it this way no i can't do it that way this is my crazy you being able to see my crazy brain in action this is great everybody loves that though everybody so absolutely loves that that on first of all and then place this one on then what we're going to do is using this panel here i am just going to pop this onto here and i know i need to oh that looks if so I lift good this up, what i can do is i can mark this just under where i need to cut it yeah just to try and save as much of the other design as possible yeah and because i'm using a pencil as well I can always, 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 obviously I can't do it with this one because it goes quite high up, but I can always be able to save at least three of the other designs to use. So if I just trim this now to where my line is, and we'll save that for another time, and then this one needs to be quite high up. So I'm literally going to go just underneath it because I could still cut that all into cut, little yeah. strips and then uh, use it differently. So let's bring this into play now. I am going to go in with my construction glue because I know exactly where it's going to go down. I don't have it with me. Have I'm not going in with you? my construction glue. I'm going to go in with my glue stick instead. Oh, this is so, going to be a great adhesive though with that perfect verses. All the way around the back and onto that middle frame as well. So it keeps it all stuck down nice and together. And I'm just going to stick this on where I need it to go doesn't matter what it looks like on the back because Absolutely we're not, not. going to see it so i'm going to place that in there like so and then let's lift this up and this will be going down with foam pads so i'm going to get my super strong long strips and nice. place those along the the bottom edges of my card one in the middle and then i think i'll be able to trim 
this down to fit. I might have to do this in two sections just because I've not stuck that bit very well. So taking this off. Yep. And I wasn't sure what other elements I'm going to use, but I do have some ribbon that I've chosen that oh, works yeah, really nicely with the Oh, yeah, I can see it there. That's very pretty, yep. So let's pop this centrally. Nice. Give it a little bit of wiggly space. This is looking cool already. Yeah, I love that. Um, and then what I started to do while Becca was showing you through those other bits is I started to cut out the flowers on here, and I think I might cut both of them. So let's just follow some of the design work. I'm going to cut into some areas where you've got that white frame, um, but we're just going to cut out these flowers to sort of place on my card instead of using them as a full topper because I don't think with my placement now I will have the space to also add in my other topper. So I'm going to pop, see it's a little bit too big, but if I pop that one there yeah, and we cut around this one, let me just go up the stalk because I would like to keep that in if I can. And then around the flowers on Beautiful. here. And this is so easy to cut with. Now I'm using my scissors. You can obviously use your craft knife, but yeah. it's actually quite a, a really um, nice weight to get your scissors into. And because the flowers, they're quite bulky shapes. So we're yeah. not having to do a lot of itsy bitsy footy, fussy cutting. Well, you know, we're going around those very um, round shapes. So it's really, really handy to be able to do this with your uh, scissors as well. So just moving this around and we're gonna come back Absolutely down here gorgeous. and keep that leaf detail in and then this is gonna be probably a craft knife job. So where I can't use my craft knife, with my scissors, sorry, I will go in with my craft knife. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because it's such a thin stalk oh, that yeah. I would end up just trimming str that whole piece straight off of there. So just um, giving myself a little bit of wiggle room till that comes out. And then I've got my other flower that I can pop up here. And I might even, now I've looked at it. Swap them round. Swap them round and trim off that stem just so that sits nicely Ooh, in yeah. that corner. So let's pop these on with foam pads and I'll just give them a little bit of a wiggle with my fingers just to um, sort of curl them inside each other to give um, a, a little bit of dimension to those flower floral elements as well. Absolutely. And because so they are slightly weightier than like a little book page, they yeah. take that shape really well. They really, really do. They're su it's super handy to be able to do this with them. Um, I've just got far too many than I need Aww. there. And then I think maybe just the ribbon as a little addition. So I think so. That'd be gorgeous. That's going to sit up there. This is going to just cross into that gorgeous detailing that we have on here. If I've got some, I do. Oh, I only have two. If we've got some gold gemstones, let's go for these ones because actually this the matches ones. Oh, yeah. the colour of our um, flower really, really well. So let's go with those. And I think because I've used the flowers and I'm going to use those, I'm actually going to mix it up and I'm going to go in with um, the really nice sort of like Malibu blue ribbon. So nice. let's just trim this off of here so I'm ready to go. My gemstones, I'm going to pop on the inside, I think. So I'm just going to do those on there and then let's go for, if I've got enough, I think I do. I'm actually going to go for like this little three and oh, just nice. marry it around the corners of this really nice damask detail that we've got. Uh, where about did I put that one? Just there. Oh, amazing. Thank you everybody for joining us. Everybody has said we're a little bit quiet this morning because we're so engrossed in it's this true. new launch and this demo uh, but patricia says loving this card nat you've given me some ideas uh, that's what we want you absolutely can really, you get a lot of elements in this kit and you can use them in the most simplest of ways you know creating those apertures creating gorgeous um simple cards maybe turning them into little notelet sets yeah, and gifting them as well um, but you can also 
chop into them, you can also completely change the layout and the look of your designs to create something even more beautiful. So I think, I think just at the bottom. Yeah, that looks gorgeous. Is a gorgeous. really nice place to put that. And let's pop that on with our ever so trusted um, glue dots. Yeah. Absolutely awesome, awesome extra. And I always like to fold mine over so that they're a little bit thinner. So I'll just place that on the bottom. And then the only thing I have to do is put this on a carte blanche because I haven't even done that yet. And also, I've not had my sentiment. So it says, wake up every day and chase your dreams. The sentiment for this one is perfect because it says, just to say. Nice. So just to say, and then you've got your perfect verses with the message. So I'm actually gonna pop it up there, I think. Ooh, just so pretty. off the top on there. So I'll get my smaller squares. Oh, everybody is loving this card. Viv Nichols says, such a pretty card. Diane Hatcher says that card is absolutely stunning. And this is what the um, the kit gives you. The yeah. kit is what is the most beautiful thing about this. The colors, the vintage style that's been chosen. It's just beautiful. This is, this is a collection like most of the Hunky Dory collections. Yes. But this is the collection that you cannot make a bad card with. You really can't. And you just, you can't go wrong with this kit, can you? It's, it's always going to come in. Look at that. Go. Oh, I love the tent fold as and well. And I think the colour of like the design that we've gone for here as well, you could have switched that out and put like a sympathy verse in there. Yes. And it would have looked really, really nice for that um, more difficult occasion too. So there you go. Absolutely beautiful. So much love. Now, nah, here you all are. Um, Faye says, stunning card. Natalie Viv Williams says, beautiful colours, beautiful card. The colours to die the for the colors aren't they? are beautiful in that selection yeah um beautiful card nat and says beautiful card donna mcmillan says loving this card natalie it is gorgeous um viv williams says can you ask nat to make a bow for us again please they are a always bow. so neat well i've just put my ribbon back but i will get have one. you got a little bit i've got a little bit here that i can might be a little bit small but we'll see um so i always make my bows as in i'm going to be looking down on them yeah that might sound a bit strange but that that's how it kind of works so i always loop it around my finger first and then one hold loop, that yeah. together and then go back over yes and then this back section i'm going to come through here and then that will come together and then it's just about just fiddling around with the little little, ends. little legs of your bow until you're happy with where that sits and then just pull it really really tight and then there you go hopefully there you go. that helped mini mini little if you uh, struggle though with this grab your hands on your ribbon bow maker yes because i pretty much m with my fingers recreate the little pegs the, you've the got the prongs so you'll you'll get your bows to look exactly like that if you do struggle with them get your bow maker oh it's absolutely so so cheap and it's so, so worth it so reasonable not just for bows though tassels Pom -poms. Uh, pom poms it's awesome the things you can make with that. oh a hundred percent you do need that bow uh susan says great in mini demo little mini demo of course we're going to have a little recap of our kit and we are going to show you oh we've got some more card samples in here uh fabulous um okay we've got some more bits and pieces um that we thought would just go great with our selection of items today one of which is oh my god I cannot tell you how much I love these linen insert papers. They're so good as well. So good. With this kit. They really, honestly, let me let me just It's flick. a match made in heaven, really. It is, because they've got quite similar colours, a quite a similar style. They're not too busy, they're not too heavy. Right, let me just get I've just seen the card blank that would go so nice with that. I mean, look at that. It's matched perfectly perfectly and obviously you can use these with all of your other kits your color block pads you can use these as backgrounds they are absolutely phenomenal if you are using these in their simplest form and just popping that topper on the inside these sit lovely as a little background for them uh, you've got all of those gorgeous uh, vintage tones in there you've got some neutrals some pastels they are just the most wonderful inserts that you need to be grabbing and getting your hands on look at that linen detail in there that's been printed 140 gsm so they're really nice and light again if you want to fold them in half you know they're, they're so great because they're not too weighty and bulky on the insides of your cards um, again we've got some of the purples and the pinks there into that really nice sort of cornflower blue 
and I think that's all of us. You get 48 of those in total for the absolute bargain price of £9.99. Cannot tell you how much we reach for these here at Hunky Dory HQ. They are phenomenal. And like I say, finish those card kits off perfectly. Next up we have, now we have mentioned this before, our beautiful, um, amazing, amazing stash, absolute Ooh. necessity, our acetate. Acetate comes in so helpful so handy. with these kits as well. It really, really does. Again, if you are putting this in between your apertures, if you are making frames, uh, if you are making anything like that, your acetate is gonna come in really handy. So we've got our 20 sheet pack at 7.99. Uh, this is 140 microns as well so it's great for your little apertures and shakers they're not too weighty and then we have got our whopping 80 sheet mega buy for 19 pounds 99 we do have the heavyweight one if you are making card fronts um e you know acetate easels anything yeah. like that um, but this is just so great if you are just popping that in to make that gorgeous gorgeous window effect in there um 19 it's absolutely whopping it's almost coming out of the package in this one it is so so good um so that is your acetate there and then yeah let's have a very um quick look at that pack shot again um to recap our fabulous flame framed florals aperture card kit multi buy so that is everything you're going to get for 19 pound 98 so you're going to get everything twice over you're going to get two lots of card blanks two lots of topper sheets so four in total for there and all of your envelopes so i'm just going to show you the um kit very quickly once again if you didn't join us so we've got square and rectangle um cards here we've got our five by fives and our five by seven um, they're your envelope sizes so these are a smidge smaller um, so we have got your square ones here a gorgeous mix of colors beautiful beautiful florals throughout very very vintage very universal absolutely perfect for any occasion here as well and then we've got that really nice soft yellow one then we move into the rectangular cards we've got that beautiful sort of peaches and cream one there again that really nice soft delicate pink the blue so so pretty that purpley blue and then this is the one that we've just seen our lovely natalie craft with it's almost like a sort of sagey kind of gray color absolutely beautiful then you're going to get your topper sheets don't forget you're getting everything twice over in the multi buy and we've got all of those wonderful shapes for you there we've got your um bracket label your arches your cor uh, your inverted corners uh, your rectangles your squares your circle and your ovals and absolutely jam-packed with your sentiments and your handmade uh, labels so we're going to show you the rest of the card models and then we're going straight back over to natalie uh, now this one is absolutely beautiful so we've taken the card blank here we've popped some of that acetate over and we've just simply made it into a acetate easel let me get that stood up there so that's just going to prop up really nicely and how good does that aperture look at the back as well absolutely beautiful it really oh, this invites is such a clever way of doing it isn't it just we've used both of the toppers there to marry up that shape it's so so clever uh, and the only thing you need for your stash is that extra little um, piece of acetate actually as well put the um the linen insert on the back there just to finish it off in complete style but that is a beautiful card uh, we've got some that are just so simply made two minute make there you've got your insert and then again you've just got that wonderful little addition there on the front with that um, pearl gemstones and um, we've got this one as well that utilizes any of those if you are um, maybe making that card like Natalie and you've got your mm -hmm. toppers left over you can always marry those up with your pattern papers and your extra stash um, we've got this lovely one again utilizing that verse popping out on a bigger card and fussy cutting some of those flowers I think we all love doing that and again bit of acetate over that window just to really make that verse shine and pop um, really fabulous. It's like a fake adorable scoreboard look doing that, doesn't it? It's quite clever. Uh, this one? Yeah. Yeah, it's so nice, isn't it? We've got those mats and layers on there. Really cool. I think that's your colour block pad. And then finally, we've got this one again that just utilises that bit of acetate on there, uh, again, to make that, that easel 
look for that card. That's really cute. I love, love, love that. Um, because you get all your sentiments and all your labels, you can be easily have plenty for your stoppers, etc. Um, so that is that beautiful kit. And there's so many ideas. We hope you've been inspired um, by all of these projects today. And we are going to get our last demo in, aren't we? Are we are going to do an easel, um, like kind of like the one that Rachel uh, did that last card that you showed. But we're going to use the the yellows. Um, and I'm also going to use my outer frame. I just think it gives it more of a finished look. So um, I've cut a piece of acetate down. This is uh, four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I've gone for my lin lin lemon linen insert. Nice. So I'm going to cut that down as well. I'm going to go two notches below just to give me a thinner uh, look to that. So again, just get that level. And then we can pull that away. I always like to go around the edge of my inserts as well just to tidy them up. If you've got your um, if you've got your guillotine, guill your guillotine always gives your paper, um, not necessarily your patterned um, like your pitch perfect pads or your other things, but anything that's like paper. So this, your perfect verses, your guillotine just gives it a crisper finish. I yeah. think. Um, so let's pop this together first of all. It's because the blade, because it's a self sharpening blade, it's always like it's just brand new, it's isn't it? It's always, always so sharp. So it gives it such an incredible um, crisp finish. Whereas sometimes if you trim a blade is needing replacing like the one in here, it can be a little bit fluffy little on bit those fluffy. papers. But nothing that your scissors can't um, tidy up. So I'm going to stick this directly onto here like so. We're also going to do some fancy bits in the middle of this, I think. Nice. So let's start off with our elements. So I'm going to pop out our frame. Again, being really careful because I do want to keep all of my bits and pieces for the time being. Because I'm not sure which bits I'm going to use and which I'm not. I'm going to bring in my scoreboard just to add in an extra score into this front panel so just lining it up on here you can see that's four and three quarters so if we go to two and just one notch over the one quarter we should be fairly central with that there we go oh, absolutely perfect. perfect so if you're wanting to create um a fold back card or anything like that um if you just go to um two and one uh one two three notches that will be perfect for the the, the level that you need and then we're going to fold it in on itself as well so it's going to be this way on our easel but i'm going to do some fussy cutting so what we're going to start off with is taking our largest frame out of here so this is from our topper sheets that has your outer frame on and i am going to um place my uh, tape all the way around on here. So I've got for my second skinniest tape, I think this is six mil, but it fits Oh yeah, absolutely perfectly on here. As long as I don't get any hair in my tape. Oh, oh absolutely the worst. Um, we're going to be able to stick this on with very little knowledge that that is there. So just pop in that around here I'm going to pick off the backing from my tape and then I'm going to stick this directly onto a sheet of acetate so I've got my heavyweight acetate for this because I want it to be quite strong and I'm going to butt it up to the two edges of my frame so I only have sort of two large sections to actually cut out um, I'll go in with my scissors to do that so first of all just focus on those straight edges um, once you've got those out of the way, you've got much of a less heavier sheet of acetate to work with and you'll find that you can easily go around these sections then. So again, I'm going to stick with my scissors just because I've got them to hand, but yeah. if you wanted to go around with your um, knife, you absolutely could do. So again, just around there and then onto here uh, on this section here. I'm going to pop that out and then I'm going to add my tape directly onto this section and we're going to go in with that smaller one, smaller one again um, and I'm just going to pop it on to here. So this is going to allow me to have a little acetate window to put my design on but also it's going to mean that my um, does my workings yeah. are very much well hidden. So that will stick 
on here. Or should I put it on with a foam pads? Let's do foam pads. Foam pads, cool. I love a little middle middle of a de demo change. This is fine. I think it's just going to add a little bit more touch of class if it's a little bit raised. Yeah, it'd be nice. So again, just where those edges are. Got back in on there now. Let's just go over that tape with your foam pads. like so and then i'm going to peel this off here that is going to go directly onto this bit as it is in you as if you're putting it on the whole section yeah and then that is going to stand oh, up oh, such a good idea so to good. Pads. i'm happy i did that um right the middle uh, bit of this we are going to um use our frame so let me take this out because I'm going to stick this down. And again, I'll do that with purple glue just to give this point a nice like bit of interest. Um, and I'm going to use one of the sentiments as well. So purple glue on here is going to be a little dream. Absolutely. And then you can get it placed perfectly then, can't yeah. you? I've got a little bit of wiggle room. I know it's going to be stuck down really nicely. So let's just stick that straight onto here and then obviously this is more of a design feature than yeah. like a stopper feature so we still do need to add a stopper on and i'm going to use my sentiment for that i'm going to place my sentiment just into this frame and i'll double up on my foam pad so it's it stands quite high and gives me a lot of opportunity for um holding back my easel yeah so that can go on there like so i've got my made with lots of love which i was also going to place on here but i'm not sure if i'm going to do that um anymore let's stick this on the inside again i'll do tape just because i know then it's absolutely 100 percent stuck in place so let's pop this down um, I'm going to do something a little bit tricksy with my uh, toppers. So popping this nice and lined up in the in the centre there. Nice. That is going to give us a Ooh, yeah. perfect fold for our design. Now we just need to add our toppers and jazz this up a little bit. So I'm going to remove this frame and I'm not going to use this one. Uh, but I am going to place this uh, design, I think, on here. Now to hide my workings... What I'm also going to do, because if you opened this card up, it would be very blank, is I'm going to put this one in the other way around as well. Oh, cool. So that you're hiding your workings and when you open it up, you've got like another image. So with our super, super big foam pads, let's go in with those. I'm going to pop these on here and it doesn't matter where they go because we're not going to see that. So just placing that in the center. I'm going to have to do it like this because it's a messing with my brain seeing that other frame and then this one will go on the inside so tape for that just so it lies flat and it's yep. not going to mess around with any of the mechanisms and it will look like it's upside down but when you open this out obviously it will be the right way up so placing that on here like so and then one oh. last thing to jazz it up it's in our super saver. Is it, is it, was it in? No, it's not. It's in pound shop. It's in pound shop. It is our, where are they? Oh, what are we bringing are in? They? Oh, here they are. Diamond sparkle <gasps> gemstone so. rolls. It's our tropical twist, but this yellow works incredible. And they're so easy to trim away as well. So that's what I've done. I've trimmed this away and I'm just going to add oh, a that's little so pretty. added extra on this bottom. So if you just want a simple colour from this, then you can easily get your scissors yeah. down the um, sort of spine. I'm going to go about halfway up. Mm, that's a little bit shorter than I wanted it to be, but we'll, it works. We'll keep it on there. I think it's quite nice, like, near the end. So we'll just line that up. You want to be very careful because, of course, it's on linen insert paper. So once that's stuck down, it's you, you, there's absolutely no way we're going to be lifting that up. 
So let's just pop that across there. So And if you wanted to add any other of those pearl gemstones, you could do it maybe like around the outside of your design, yeah. on your frame as well. It's super, super classy, but that is how you can create your easel. And then of course, when we open it up, we've hid that work in and you've got that gorgeous design in love the middle that. as well. Love that. And I love that frame, just really absolutely gorgeous. Um, just a really nice way to step up an easel. Thank you for all of your fantastic mates today, Nat. Uh, they have been really fun and inspiring to watch. And again, I hope it just goes to show how easy this card collection is to put together and do some really interesting, fun and different things. Um, everybody says another fab card, Natalie. Another fantastic card. Another beautiful card. Thank you so much, guys. Um, TV schedule. Anne Marie is at Hobby Maker. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this new collection. For as tomorrow. Well. <gasps> yes. It's gonna be so busy isn't it it is absolutely it is going to be a busy busy day and marie is at hobby maker tomorrow she's got one two and five p.m um at our new perfect days so great for all of our cat lovers pet lovers animal lovers just anyone that loves um hunky dory topper collections as well it is fantastic um so we're going to be launching that and then we're going to be looking at our box mag volume 21 so that's a new one that's a new one so yeah pre-order so at the moment popular yes um, um but it, it will be going on. out this week it will be going out this yes, week yes it's the yep 18 you're going to be getting it Yep, it's going to be sent out from Thursday, so do order it. And I would pre-order it because every single issue seems to sell out Flies. straight away, absolutely fly out. So, uh, But Anne-Marie is um, joining you on Hobby Maker with some demos and inspiration for that. Next up on Hunky Dory TV, we are refreshing our wonderful diamond deals for the month ahead. It is that time already. We're halfway through January, people. It's the 15th today. It's crazy. Amazing. Um, Natalie and Rachel will be with you on that show and there's going to be some incredible bargains and deals for that. Okay, that is everything we've got for you today. Um, we hope you have a lovely rest of your Monday. Keep nice and warm and dry and we will see you tomorrow.